Hi friends, welcome back to Redgate Ranch Homestead. All I can say is fudge filled cheesecake. Oh my goodness, nothing better. And this cheesecake recipe was inspired by O'Carr's Deli in Homewood, Alabama, which is a suburb of Birmingham. And Birmingham, Alabama is known as the Magic City. And y'all, this cheesecake is magical. It's made to be served warm with whipped topping. I hope you'll give it a try. All my friends in Birmingham, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't you, Diane, Joy, Kim, Courtney, Flo, Lee, and Kristen. Y'all. Well, come along with me and I'll show you how you can make this luscious fudge-filled cheesecake. So what we need to do, we need to butter a 10 inch spring form pan and I have wrapped it with aluminum foil around the bottom just for insurance. I've never had a problem with it leaking, but you never know, so I better be safe than sorry. Then what we'll do is we will make the crust and that is one cup of graham cracker crumbs, one third cup of sugar, and we'll stir that around half a cup of melted butter or one stick. I'm going to put it in our pan. And then what I like to do is just take a little round bowl or a glass or a cup and just press that down on the springform pan. Now we're going to put this in a 375 degree oven and we'll bake it for about 10 minutes. Okay, now we're going to start mixing the cheesecake. And what we'll need is just a little bit of cream cheese, four blocks of cream cheese that's room temperature. And we're just going to mix that until it's nice and smooth. You have to scrape this down several times. One of the reasons you want to make sure that you blend this very well before you add any other ingredients is because you want to make sure there are no lumps in the cream cheese and you're just creaming it up so that it's nice creamy uh, consistency before we add all the other ingredients. So we give it one more whirl. Next we're going to add one and one third cup of sugar plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And this will just lighten it up a little bit. I like to put the flour in the sugar and I just mix that up with a fork. That way it gets well incorporated into the cheesecake. And we're just going to gradually add this to the cream cheese. You see how the consistency of the cream cheese has changed with the sugar? The secret to a really good cheesecake is a really smooth, homogenous mix. And always remember to scrape at the bottom of the bowl too, because those little lumps of cream cheese can hide from you down there. And you don't want that. Now we're gonna add our eggs one at a time. I've got four large eggs at room temperature. Whoops, that one slipped in. <laughs> one more good scrape. 
And now we'll add two teaspoons of vanilla. Now we're getting ready to put it in our cooled graham cracker crust. Now we're ready to put the cheesecake mixture into our cooled graham cracker crust, but we're only going to put half of it first. Okay. That looks about half to me. Now, we're going to use one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. We want to make sure that we concentrate the chocolate chips about one to two inches from the edge. Now, we just add the rest of the batter. So, before you put it in the oven, I like to put mine on a pizza pan. It just helps it go into the oven a little bit better. And then you want to tap the cheesecake to try to get as many air bubbles out as you can. And I use a little toothpick just to help that along. So you can see we've got some little bubbles here. Just pop those. Okay. And that's all you have to do. Now we're ready to put it in the oven for about one hour or until set. My mouth is watering. Oh my gosh, this smells so heavenly. We got it out of the oven. We let it cool for about an hour. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it out of the spring form pan. But what I like to do is take an offset spatula and just go around the edge. I'll unlock she's so pretty and she's got that yummy fudge inside you want to see what it looks like inside yes okay I can't wait mmm so delicious. The cheesecake is creamy, not overly sweet. The warm fudge is just so satisfying. There's something about warm chocolate that just can't be beat. You could put whipped cream on this cheesecake if you like, but I like it just plain just like this. And if you'd like to visit O'Cars in Birmingham, they're actually in Homewood, We'll put a link in the description below so that you can go visit them. It'll be a treat, believe me, if you go there. So until next time, y'all, I'll be here at Redgate Ranch Homestead. Bye. Mm. Mm.